Uh, why have you decided to say no thanks to being president and CEO of the SCLC? Well, Roland, uh, right after the uh, court ruling, I reached out to begin discussing uh, how I should move forth into the p position. And uh, I was asked to submit recommendations uh, to the board, which I did on October the 13th. Uh, that uh, submission <laughs> on October the 13th, uh, I got a response from that letter on January the 6th, which is three months later. Uh, to me, that's an, a long period of time. Uh, I was very troubled by the length of time that it transpired. There was no form of communication to say that, uh, you know, we need a little bit more time uh, to make a decision. And so, frankly, uh, I felt a little bit uh, disrespected in the process. And secondly, uh, the letter that was sent back to me did not mention uh, anything concerning my recommendations. And my recommendations were submitted for discussion purposes. So it was my desire to enter into discussion with them uh, about how we would proceed. Uh, what they sent back was a, merely a job description uh, that primarily spoke to a board-driven organization. I was elected to lead the organization. Uh, I, I frankly uh, was not interested in merely being a figurehead of the organization. I have to ask this. I mean, is, is there really an SCLC that exists because it's been constant infighting. You talked about the lawsuit. Uh, and for you to be elected president and CEO and for the board to take that amount of time, so really what is there to lead? Well, I, I can't speak to that. There, there are uh, board members, there are chapters that are out there, and some of the chapters are doing tremendous work. Um, and I think they will figure out how they will move forward from here. And I'm keeping them in my prayers. Uh, I love all of them um, and uh, in fact had a discussion with one of them this morning. And so um, I, my hope is that the organization will um, get back on track and be what it is, was designed to be. Now, uh, how does it make you feel, an organization that was so valuable to your father, uh, to your mother, uh, in this particular position today and you not leading the group when after you elected to be president and CEO? Well, you know, I don't believe that the SCLC cannot move forward just because I'm not the president. You know, I, I believe that there's still hope for the organization. They will have to figure out uh, what the best leadership model is and, and move forward in that. And so I'm not discouraged because I'm not the person who will be at the helm. Uh, had you assumed the position, you would have been the first female president of the SCLC. Uh, you talked about the mm -hmm. work of your father, but you also, according to your statement, uh, you're also going to be advancing the work of your mother. Uh, do you believe that your mother uh, has gotten the proper credit for her role? And that is that symptomatic of many women doing the movement who did not get the same level of attention <laughs> as the men did? Uh, it, it is symptomatic, and that's one of the things that I'm, I'm, I'm hoping uh, to work on, and that is to bring attention to the role of the many women in the movement, especially uh, my mother's role. And uh, I look forward to this, this wonderful opportunity to advance my mother's legacy because you're right. Um, we would know Martin Luther King as we know him if it were not for all of her work um, in institutionalizing his legacy through the holiday and even through the King Center. Um, and it's, it's, I feel it's my responsibility as the woman <laughs> left in the family uh, to ensure that her contributions are noted and noted properly. Uh, last question for you. You mentioned the King Center. Your brother, uh, Martin Luther King III, is back in terms of leading the, the King Center. Uh, what is the state of the relationship between you, MLK III, and your brother Dexter, as well as uh, the, uh, the, the company that handles all of the rights of your father? Uh, have you guys had a business meeting? How are you moving forward? Have those issues been resolved between the siblings? Well, I would say that we, we continue to, to resolve all of these issues. They're not, they're not easy issues to resolve. We, first and foremost, we're a family. Uh, we, we love each other dearly. And as any family, there are always disagreements. Even as you resolve going forward, there will be you know, disagreements. Uh, but the bottom line is uh, that there is a commitment to, to moving uh, both uh, King Inc. as well as the King Center forward. Uh, and uh, I'm personally committed to it. Um, I, I can't speak for the other two personally. I believe that there is a commitment um, and uh, we're, we're moving forward. I'm excited about the things that will happen 
uh, through the King legacy in the next five, ten, ten, maybe even twenty years, uh, and forever, for that fact.